Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So I'm a little bit late in doing this, but I thought I would share with you a few bits and pieces that I got for Christmas. Not everything, because actually I'm in the mood for doing a what's in my bag, and there's a couple of things that I got for Christmas that are in my bag, so I'll save those for then. Um, firstly, before I get into that, um, just thought I'd say again, I've said this before, how much I'm loving the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I have it in the colour sand, but it really does brighten your complexion. I'm, this is all I'm wearing, I've not put a stitch of concealer or anything else on, just this. Um, it's a Sunday, all I'm doing later is changing the cat litter tray for that little lazy darling that's just down there. So, oh, she's just looking really cute, Let's see if I can show you. Bless. Anyway, so let's go on to it. So there's a mixture of things. Um, first thing here, some chestnut coloured leather gloves with touchscreen technology and these are from Marks and Spencers. Can't go wrong. I don't like to have expensive gloves. I worry too much that I'll lose them. Even though I'm not the sort of person that normally loses stuff like this, I'm a bit worried. But um, these are so small. And that's what they look like on. They've got elasticated bit there. Um, so yeah, super happy with that. I think it will look nice with my like sheepskin Burberry coat, my big mango coat that's cream. Anything where you don't want anything like black or too harsh, um, or sort of anything that's a beigey colour. And I thought it'd go quite well with them, um, you know, like a lot of Louis Vuitton stuff that I've got. So that was those. I also that's from my parents. My parents also got me these babies. So these are a pair of UGG slippers. So I'll put a link to everything I can in the description box below if anyone's interested. So yeah, sheepskin all the way in there. Been wearing these non-stop since Christmas Day. Absolutely loving those. They're nice because they're a little bit different because they've got this hair calf exterior and I just thought leopard print was, you know, a little bit fun. I think leopard print, I like I'm not averse to a bit of leopard print, I think some people can overdo it, but I quite like it. And if you're going to do it, then why not do it like a pair of slippers, something that's a little bit fun. It doesn't matter, you're in the house. So that's that. My husband very kindly, one of the gifts that he got me is going to be in the what's in my bag, so I'm going to leave it where it is for now. But one of the other things he got me was this perfume. Do you want to show you? There we go there and this is by Hermes. I think the bottle is stunning and it actually stands like slightly on a angle and this is Eau de Marvais Blue. So, oh, bleu. so this is an Eau de Toilette. Um, this came is a, a really good gift set and that's always I think even if you're buying perfume for yourself Christmas time is the best time because you get these gift sets which mean you normally get like perfume and some body cream or a little extra in a nice presentation box for the same price as just the perfume. So I'll insert a picture here so you can see what came with this but it came with this, some cream and a little tiny cutest miniature one of these which is great for travel. So absolutely love that, it smells gorgeous. Um, I use the orange Hermes perfume as well, which I love, and this is just a bit of a variation of that. So that is that. Oh, one of the other things that my husband got me, I am wearing here. So this is, I'll show you, I've got tippy toes now because I've got the camera a bit high. Um, so this is a necklace from Hermes. I know, I love Hermes. That's no secret, we all know. And this is the O Kelly necklace in small and you can see and it comes in either palladium or gold and you can see it's got this little cute little palladium um, padlock effect there it doesn't open or anything and then in leather some there's some branding there see it says Hermes on it so it's just imprinted leather and then plain on the other side just with an edge and this is in the colour Etoupe so I think that is Super cute, like this is so small, I do a larger one as well and I would love to get the O'Kelly bracelet to match actually because I think this is such a 
gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Now the other thing that I got for Christmas, which I was extremely excited about, is this baby. Some of you may know from the case. The case with the really nice magnetic closure there, which is just so, oh so satisfying. Let's pull it open. Do you know what it is yet? Okay, and there. It's the Dyson Era. So yes, I got the Dyson Era complete from my parents. I was super stoked. It's a bit Australian. Um, incredibly surprised. I really, really wanted one. I've wanted one since they came out. I couldn't justify buying one. I couldn't justify the price tag. I've got a Dyson hairdryer, which I absolutely love and have used, you know, all the time. Um, and I've done other videos on that saying how much I like that, how much better I think it is for my hair, how I think my hair is glossier and shinier and longer and just overall healthier since I've had that. Um, but I really wanted the air app. And I was texting my friend Lou on Christmas morning. Not that I was disappointed with what I got from husband at all. I was super, super pleased. Wasn't expecting this. I knew it would be out of his budget for Christmas anyway. But I was texting my friend Louise. Oh, bestie Lorna got an air app for Christmas, you know. And her husband bought her one. I was just super jealous just because I've wanted one for so long. And I knew that she'd had an eye on one as well. And I was like, right, that's it. I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet come January, February and just buy myself one. Um, anyway. Cut a long story short, yeah, did some cooking, parents came around, and then in the afternoon, as the very last present, I unwrapped this baby. So, so far, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on it. So far, obviously, I've used the main section here. I'm not going to get it all out, don't mind. Main section here that you attach stuff to. I've used, obviously, the bit that you rough dry to take most of the moisture out of your hair with. And then my first play... I actually use the larger, the 40 millimeter barrels, which come in the complete one and the one for like thicker hair. I, I can't remember the exact name. Um, and I'll, in, I'll insert a picture of what that looked like up here. So I had a bit of a play for that with that when I was on my way to go to a baby shower. And I just had, you know, being between Christmas and New Year, I just had a little bit of time. It wasn't that mad, crazy rush to get out of the house for work. So I actually had time to do that. So I did that and quite liked that. And I also, today, used the volumizing brush, which comes in the, obviously the complete version that I've got, or it comes in the um, volume, I can't remember what it's called now, the, the volume version, the one for like finer hair. So all I've done with it, as you can see, my hair still, I think, yeah, it looks pretty shiny. And I haven't gone to any great lengths to style it. There's some YouTube videos I've looked at and people have got it and they've wrapped their hair around it and they've done it all and then they've used the cool shot and then they've turned it off and done each bit individually and it looks fabulous. I'm not criticising at all. Um, that's, not, that's not my lifestyle. So what I've done is basically I did section my hair and then I basically just pulled it through and basically just sort of pulled it through, wrapped it around a bit and, and tugged at it, couldn't really be bothered with the cool shot or to turn it off every time. I've just kind of taken it and whizzed it through and pulled and whatnot. But I will say it has given, my hair feels very light and it has given, I think it has given some body. I have, you know, there's a lot, quite a lot of it, but I have quite fine, fine baby fly away hair. So I think it's done quite a good job. Anyway. Um, what I am going to do, and what I bought then, to go with it, I had a little Amazon moment. Because obviously I'm not going to travel with this. But, I think that the air wrap itself is quite good to travel with because, you know, you're not going to have, I'm not going to go away with my great big volumizing brush. And I have this. This is basically, you know, and you've got no stem, because you've got the stem elsewhere, so this is taking the place of a brush. So, I'm going to travel with it. I treated myself with Amazon, and I'll, I'll put a link in the description box below. I can't remember how much this was. I think it was about £17. Um, it's got a little zip on the back for anything you want to put in there. I'm not quite sure what. I'll probably keep it empty to keep it flatter. And it's got a little oops, hangy hoop in the lid and some bits there. And then you've got this main section here where I put the body of the Dyson, and then you've got some few sections here. So I'll take, you know, probably a 30 metre... 30 millimetre barrels 
I just haven't tried those yet and I might try them whilst I'm away on holiday when I've got a bit more time. The volumizing brush, the um, rough dryer, and maybe one more. I'll, I'll see what I feel. So that's what I thought was quite good. I can pack it away and then it's not going to be too thickness there. It's water, it's actually splash proof as well. Um, they do it in a few colours, but I just went for this grey. I thought it was quite nice when we go with the Dyson, so that was that. I thought that was pretty good. That was it. That was all I wanted to talk to you about in this video. Um, what I will do now is I'm going to film and unbox uh, what's in my bag. Unboxing, I wish. Sorry. The shopping monster was well and truly awoken before Christmas with all the Christmas shopping. We are now putting the monster back in the cave. Um, so, yeah. No, there will be no big unboxings anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, but I will do a what's in my bag now. And anyway, anyone's got any questions, then let me know. Um, hints and tips on the air app, absolutely welcome. But so far, I've only used it like three times. Um, so far, I do really like it. Um, the other thing I was going to say is I am completely incapable of curling my hair. Um, I can't use curling wands, I'm just, I'm just not skilled. Um, anyone that's watched my other videos will know from a makeup perspective and that I'm not a person with talent. So, can't curl my hair. With the air app, I can. Um, and on that note, I'm going to sell my, my GHD curve wand, see I'm not sure what it's called. So my GHD curve wand, I'll put a link to the model that I've got in the description box below. I'm going to sell that. If anyone is interested, then let me know. I've used it once, so this thing is like brand new. Um, I don't think I've got the box, but I've got a heatproof case with it. I've got the glove that goes with it. If anyone is interested, then uh, my email is in the description box below. Email me, let me know. Uh, other than that, oh, please subscribe. Please use the bell notification because that'd be great. It's it's hard doing a YouTube channel, um, and it's nice to see some growth to say actually I'm doing the right thing. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to go and see you soon. Bye.